Hey everybody, Artosis here, bringing you some more of the Korea-China Invitational League. This is right now game number three of a nine-game series between Paralyze, our Korean Protoss Pro, formerly of SK Telecom, and Xiao Shui. Uh, many consider him to be the best Chinese Zerg currently. Certainly he is within the top two to three. Uh, and maybe, I think he's technically won more than Fengji, uh, recently, so maybe that, that number one slot is correct. Anyways, uh, right now tied up one-to-one, -one, looking, like, pretty even so far. Both games were, like, a little bit one-sided, honestly. Like, uh, they, that second game did feel like a little bit of a route, so, uh, Paralyzed definitely coming back strong. We're on Polypoid now, which is just a pretty solid four-player map overall. And we're going to go ahead and just see uh, how they want to open up. It looks like for Paralyze, he is going to go for a gateway expansion here. So looking to put some pressure on, which makes sense. I think so far, his Zealots have done a very, very good job. Chashway, we'll see if he keeps up with like the overpool types of plays. We've seen a lot of that out of him so far here. Uh, but yeah, it actually looks like it's probably going to be uh, a hatchery first is my guess. Now, anyways, uh, while we kind of wait for this game to pick up, do want to thank you guys for checking out our Toast's cast. I hope that you're enjoying uh, the wide variety of matches that we are having right now. I'm kind of uh, jumping around a little bit, giving a little taste of everything. And we are going to start a new Star League uh, pretty soon here, which will be, you know, I would say like 99% Korean players. Maybe, maybe like DeWalt will be in it or something. But not for too long, most likely. Even though, I mean, I'd love to see him win. Uh, but yeah, anyways, hope that you guys are enjoying this uh, wide variety of games. And thank you to everyone, of course, who has supported on the Patreon so far. That's patreon.com forward slash artosis. Uh, if you'd like to, uh, like to support, that's down in the description below as well. All right, anyways, uh, we are getting there with that drone scout. Of course, we saw that it is a hatchery first, followed by a spawning pool, so... A little bit more economic, but we do have uh, Zelok getting out right away. Ooh, look at the bravery. It's a funny thing that you can do, man. Like, the drone range really is pretty insane. <laughs> you see that? The thing is, if you turn around and click just at the right time, you are going to hit the drone. And the drone is only going to take three hits from a Zelok before it dies. Uh, but now it's healing, so maybe it's going to be able to take an additional one as well. I can't believe the amount of damage he's put on this. Look at this. He's dealt, this is like 25 damage. Dude, that's like, that is significant. <laughs> that will help him to clean up this Zealot a lot quicker, honestly. Uh, anyways, uh, some very good micro there from Xiao Shui, who will go ahead and turn that drone into the third hatchery at that third base. Some nice drone drilling going on. Oh my God. The Zealot going down to 80 health. No damage yet to these drones in the main base. Does end up losing one. Uses that double probe hit. Beautifully executed there from Paralyzed. So he does get one drone, which is good. Some lost mining time as well. Going to go back behind the minerals. And here comes the second Zealot. So, uh, oh, the drill out. And he is going after this drone so hard. Oh my God. He's got two very low at the moment. Oh the micro here from Xiao Shui a little bit too strong oh and he gets a second drone don't forget more zerglings are being made as well I tell you what this harassment is serious like this zealot pressure it, I don't even it, you normally don't call it a uh, harassment in this type of situation we normally call it pressure but he is doing like fantastically with the zealot so far against Xiao Shui uh, the fact that he got, like, three drones total and forces me links. Like, just look at the worker counts. 20 probes against 10 drones. That's insane. That's a huge, huge difference. And that's something that's really going to hurt Xiao Shui. Now, back at home, a shield battery going up just to make sure that he's going to be able to stay alive. Uh, he does have the probe in the open wall area. Okay, he actually gets another Zealot out. So very, very well timed. Certainly wants to start a photon cannon right away since there are so many links out here. And now Xiao Shui basically has until this finishes to try to get damage done with this gigantic amount of Zerglings that he's made. Some more come in. He has switched over to drone production. And he is putting some decent damage onto the gate. I feel like he definitely could put a little bit more. Uh, but yeah. Ooh. I, I'm actually surprised he didn't add like a fourth link there. But anyways, uh, the Zealots come out to fight. The cannon is getting there. Don't forget, in StarCraft 1, the shield battery cannot heal buildings. Some great heals, though, on these Zots, keeping them alive when they certainly should not be, and just barely uh, going to fend off those Zerglings. It actually became a lot closer 
than I thought it would there by the end. Uh, so anyways, the gateway goes back up. We had the cybernetic score start already, which is incredibly important. Always something you want to look for in these situations. Uh, and you know, if, if basically if the gateway dies before you have your cybernetic score, you oftentimes lose the game as Protoss. Uh, it's just, it's so much damage. Like it slows down your build so, 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 so much. Uh, definitely not something you want to deal with. Now back at home, Shao Shui, he can't be feeling good about this position. He was on 10 drones for a long time. And he is going into a ranged attack upgrade first on his Hydralisks. Now, normally for three hatch Hydra, what we end up seeing is speed first for the Hydra so that they can get across the map more quickly. Now, the fact that he's going range, I find really, really interesting. What range will allow him to do is tear down the wall more quickly. Basically, if you don't have range, it's incredibly hard to attack the forge without the cannon attacking you. So that's kind of what happens, right? You get speed to threaten, and you can always get the gateway because it's just wider, uh, and then you get the forge as range finishes up generally, right? So that's that's just like a general flow of it. But with the very quick range upgrade, uh, he is going to plow through the outside buildings very, very fast. And I mean, there's only one cannon here. He's trying. He's paralyzed right now. Is trying to come out with these zealots with a single probe as well to get a good solid scout. And he is going to see the Hydras, so he is going to have some time. That first Corsair is out. He's going to go ahead and try to kill this shield battery so he has more room to add those cannons. You might be looking at that and thinking, well, isn't that going to be helpful against the rush? And the answer is it actually gets in the way. Uh, we have seen at the pro level, Protoss players literally lose because they didn't kill the shield battery. Uh, you actually need to have, like, the surface area of cannons, I guess we should call it, right? Like, you need the, the nice long line of cannons there uh, so that they're actually all shooting at the same time. Like, if you have one here and then two here, things happen where not enough are shooting at the same time. So anyways, range is done on these hydras. Comes up to that wall, and you can see he is gunning down this forge now very, very quickly. So plus one, probably not going to finish. He is, look at this, diving, just diving so, so hard here upon the overlord. Will pop the Overlord, and, well, I mean, I guess that, that makes it so he could make Dark Templars uh, in this area and get them through pretty easily. But he pops that Forge, no plus one done yet. Rain, speed just now starting for those Hydralisks. And the Gateway going to be going down next. A lot of cannons have been made. Don't forget, by the way, with the Forge going down, he did have to start another Forge as well. So there are some very annoying things going on for Paralyze. Uh, one of which is these Corsairs flying around. It looks like they've only killed a couple of, uh, of Overlords so far. More macro hatches on the way, so we're almost up to that five hatchery. Five hatch Hydra, of course. <laughs> it's it's a lot of production. It, like, that that used to be a build that we'd see a lot. More, more so nowadays, we'll see six hatchery on three base. Uh, but once upon a time, five hatch was actually a bit more normal. So definitely he is kind of refilling in that economy and everything. A few drones are being made. 29 jumping up and up and up. Don't forget, we started at 10 versus 20. Now we're at 42 against 31. Of course, you know, Paralyze at this point has had more probes mining for a lot longer. So he's actually gotten a lot more income. But don't forget, you know, having these additional patches really does up the amount that you're mining. Uh, more so than extra workers, right? You get more efficiency. Uh, the less workers you have, like, basically at one per patch, that's, like, amazing uh, efficiency. And a lot of times, that's what Zerg Economy is based off of, is one drone per patch. Right? See? Nine drones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. <laughs> this is this is how you'd work the Zerg Economy a lot of the time. Uh, but anyways, it, you know, Shaoshui has done a very good job of kind of recovering from what looked like a rough start with a very small like the drone kills the small amount of drones actually out mining for a while the amount of zerglings he made which actually didn't end up doing very much right there was a lot of stuff that went wrong now the speed is done for these zealots they run out there is no attack upgrade yet so not as strong as they could have been if you hadn't sniped that forge but of course this small group of hydras has no chance against equal number zealots and in fact, in this case, it's even a little bit more. It looks like right now he has about 16 Zealots, which is pretty damn scary when you have the same amount of Hydras. Now, we do have some Static D being made. Looks like he tried to make a Sunken there. It actually failed. He goes up and tries to make it here now. Uh, very good to have some Hydras in there. Definitely can screw up a lot of the attacks that come through. This is a hard area to get through. The eggs can block this as well. 
you can actually send larva to the left side of a hatchery at any time so you always could jump this to there and make uh make a hydra right like or a laying or an overlord whatever it might be just an egg to get in the way since you can't really power down eggs with zealots so a lot of opportunities here for great defense uh we are up to those six hatches that i was talking about before as well so shao shui has really hit his macro i gotta tell you the best zergs in the world always do impress me in zerg versus protoss with how quickly and how thoroughly they can replace their economy when they've done like a crazy rush right they just like power right up into what they want uh obviously it's not like he has an overwhelming army like this is good and he's chasing the zealots away for now but i think that paralyzed still is in a good spot he's got four high templars out does have a dark archon mixed in there he's got the full eight gateway contingent that you want the robotics already on the way we have the plus one armor coming up. He didn't go double forge, which is something we see pretty often. There is a second forge coming up though. So it looks like he'll be going more towards like a two, two. Uh, a lot of times when you lose your first forge, you'll see Protoss make uh, two forge in the main base to catch up to the one, one timing. But anyways, the Zealot's running in right now. As lurkers come up to Burrow though, he is gonna have to pull back. No real chance here uh, to do too much. He did keep the Zealots over to the side where they took a couple hits. So he finished off, uh, you know, at least the Sunken. I'm surprised he's actually, like, staying here attacking, to be honest. Like, these Zealots really not doing very much at the moment. DT looks like he did pick up a couple of kills there. But, you know, out of that big group of Zealots, almost none get out alive. We have, like, one Zealot out on the map. DT gonna find this new hatchery up at 12. And, in fact, the Hydra scouting. Okay, you see a pylon here? Obviously, he's thinking about taking that base very, very quickly now. Now, we have the 1-2 upgrades coming. Wait, no, I, actually, that's the plus one armor still. Sorry. Uh, my timing is a little bit off because you did lose that forge earlier on. Uh, but now, very heavy Dragoon production. In fact, even a shuttle coming up. That shuttle is going to be kind of interesting. Like, it could be a Dark Templar drop. It could be a High Templar drop for size storming uh, the, the drones, like, maybe at the Natural or something. This is pretty heavy saturation. A storm right around here would probably kill five, six drones. Uh, you know, and there are other moves as well, right? Like, you don't, you can just drop, like, four Zealots into a main base and run up and do a lot of damage. Sometimes you'll see things like, uh, an important tech structure picked off there. But Shao Shui right now, he's just adding in Lurkers, right? Like, he's, he's getting up to his four base that he wants. He has a lot of Hydras at the moment. Adding those Lurkers in and... You know, setting up a bit of a containment, like running around with a bunch of hydras right now, just kind of zoning everything out. The question is, can Paralyze break through this containment? And then, well, the thing is, this is kind of funny, right? Like he's got this big group of units here, but I don't see it being like super useful at the moment. Obviously, if a drop comes in, he'll smash it, but I think he's going to need to bring all of his army to this area because this containment is the most important thing in the game right now. By the way hidden nexus in the bottom right he wanted to take it here but it got spotted so he's just going to try to hide it which you can't really blame him for if you can get up that third gas that is going to be absolutely huge all right so some of the hydras just kind of sitting here pushing back on the dragoons a little bit that plus one armor is almost done we have 13 hydras at a time 19 hydras being produced kind of insane uh, a big group of zealots going through oh my god 19 kills that was over 20 kills on that high templar i can't even so it looks like what he did was he dropped zealots into the main base is he going to get that oh my god he gets the hydralis den as well and then the drones ran and he caught them with the size storm over here and now he has zealots hitting this third base area this is the most insane thing i'm so glad that i caught that 11 drones remain dude i think xiao shui's dead man straight up like 11 drones that's nothing, that's terrible. We're back to where he was a couple minutes into the game. And that was bad, a couple minutes into the game. <laughs> All right, uh, I think it just comes down to Paralyze efficiently breaking this, because it feels like the only way for Shao Shui maybe to win is if this entire army kind of suicides in, gets wrecked, and then, I don't know, another one comes in and gets wrecked? Because even, like, the reinforcements plus cannons should be able to hold this amount of units attacking, so I don't know, man. It's a tough situation. Paralyzed just absolutely wrecking. Uh, he throws some storms down on these Hydras. Got to take a look over there. Don't want to miss any more drone death. Uh, but yeah, that... Oh, man. That was like one of the best storm drops of all time. 
Uh, now, the Hydras come in and are, like, taking an okay engagement. Hydras do pretty well against pure Dragoon, but as the Zealots come up and tank, uh, yeah, the Hydras having a harder and harder time here. Archons being more pushing forward now as well. Can Shao Shui actually make anything? He's, he's re-droned up to 21, so he made 10 drones in that time. But obviously, you can see he's just got mass larva at all of his hatcheries. Like, he just cannot spend. There's no way for him to spend his money. And now we have a drone tran or a probe transfer to that bottom right base. He's taking this as his fourth base location. And Shao Shui cannot attack. He can barely defend right now, honestly. In fact, when an attack comes over, like, I, I think as Paralyzed, if you just make one round of units and go, there's not going to be any chance. By the way, looking for more storm damage. I'm not sure that you really need it <laughs> with the... With this type of uh, advantage, I feel like it's almost better to just storm the army and, and get the secure the victory, you know? Ooh, almost loses that shuttle. Again, not that it matters all that much. 2-1 upgrades here. And, well, I mean, you do have plus two. You're, he's still droning. But, I mean, 54 supply is just so, so small. Seems like Paralyzed just roaming about. Might just run up and kill 12. I think you just let that die as Xiao Shui. You don't have any chance... Like, you can't walk up this ramp and defend. It seems like this is the only area where you might be able to defend, right? Like, if your opponent runs into here, you can kind of flank. But here, it's like, okay, high ground. You know, high ground advantage. Maybe you pick off observers. Maybe your lurkers and sunkens. Do some heavy lifting. But Paralyze's follow-up seems to be very, very strong. Like, the fact that he's just macroing cleanly and getting additional bases. How do you stop that? Right? You've got to catch up just normally. And then you've got to fight back against a four base Protoss. That does not sound uh, <laughs> very promising. Now, I think this is going to be like the final move of this game. Uh, Paralyze is coming in. His army is just massively stronger. Uh, doesn't quite have that plus three attack quite yet. Throws a storm down. Not a very good storm. Don't think it matters once again. Some more storms going down, and I mean, he's just trashing through here. There's so little left over. Xiao Shui, I think he had a good recovery, but that storm drop trap was magnificent. GG.